What up, YouTube? It's your Vegas Insider here again. Uh, I got a good episode to go over with you guys. I got three magazines to go over. But I wanted to talk to you about a situation. I had kind of a rough week. You guys probably haven't heard from me in a little while here. Because um, I've been dealing with a situation involving um, some real scumbag type people, man. Well, just one scumbag in general. Um, someone I know got took for a lot of money by another person that was a so-called friend of mine. Anyways, long story short, be careful. What I'm getting at is be careful when you come to Vegas who you associate with. There's some real scumbags out here. Some real low-life, degrading, not worth a damn type people out here. So, um, be careful who you associate with. Have you ever seen Casino, that movie with Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci where they bury people out in the desert? Well, there's people that deserve that treatment out here. There's people that truly deserve to have their asses buried in the desert. Because a friend of mine that has cancer, has very little bit of lifetime to live, um, uh, got took for a lot of money. Like, he can't even make his car payment. He can't even make his rent payment. And he has cancer, and he only has a short time to live. And how are you going to rip this this guy off man like an old man he doesn't deserve it like karma's a bitch it will come back to him tenfold anyways uh going on getting into this um we got i got you an edibles edition that talks about all the edibles and stuff and this ain't always pertaining to las vegas some of this goes um nationwide with all the states that are legal new york hawaii colorado arizona Oregon's one of them Washington so anyways uh this guy I mean they got this is quite an interesting coverage for I mean this guy he says he's got a vagina whatever I mean that's a little bit personal but he puts it out there like that okay you know this girl's she's a weightlifter but she's a ex playboy bunny who caught HIV and that's just an activist like like she, this dude so anyways um some interesting characters but this is vegas you know but this ain't all vegas i mean this is new york too so which is right up there get all the freaks out there it's new york it's california it's for all the states like not all these products are sold out here look we got dog treats that are cbd implied you know what i mean even dogs they find use in pets for you know i guess cbd can actually do some good and the pet industry you know what i mean um here we got two almond cups um almond butter cups you know um and they're 20 milligrams of thc i would advise eating half of one that begin with i'm sure each one since there's two of them each one's at 20 and i'd say cut that in half so i'd say there's like um four por portions there you know what i mean i mean to begin with start out with 10 10 milligrams or else you're gonna be baked on your ass dude stupid like if you got important shit to do consider it like not getting around to consider not getting around to it oh, hey, I like that girl's uh pants right there with the marijuana thing so yeah this is a good way to do go okay drink one of those man that's a good way to start out it's 10 milligrams that's about where you want to start if you've ever ate edibles or if you never ate edibles before try that try that to begin with don't go in and eat a 500 milligram cookie you're gonna be ripped off your ass i think it's just way too much man and yeah so anyways um i don't want to take too much time i mean you got some cool like sativa chews and shit and it gives you all plenty of warnings and they really make those boxes hard to open like it looks like a regular box i ate some snoop dog edibles and that shit was hard to open um that looks like some straight marijuana like not all these products are going to be sold in las vegas like i've never s these relax and stuff we got some chills and stuff but like i said like not all the same products go to, to every state every state has different products that they sell you know what i mean you got some recipes that you can put some and you got some cool like you know magic of infusion you know brownies and shit that they do Here's a good Greek salad. I'd love to put one of those together. Um, and feel, feel free to leave a comment in the comment bar. And uh, if you want, like, if you want me to go over and redo another episode where I could, like, 
get a certain uh recipe like that that salad or something just let me know and i'll just hold the camera there so you guys could get that down anyways uh we got this event coming up it's like the big lebowski bowling alley um where you could smoke and play bowling and uh and um you know just chill it's on april 20th this is this is strictly pertaining to las vegas i mean because it's for las vegas it's for us out here pretty cool we're the only ones that know that actually done it like this i don't know i'm sure in colorado they got like you know smoke smoke bars smoke cafes and shit but that's pretty cool that we're putting like bowling events together you know and then you got your thc that's california as far as i know no that's seattle i believe yeah yeah portland portland oregon they got some festivals going on los angeles got some stuff going on but yeah here in las vegas we're in it we're involved um so yeah that's that um this one i didn't go through it too much but this is some basic stuff we got some cookies oh this here's a um i mean this is all our dispensaries i mean but we're packed full of them and there's constantly more popping up all the time so looks like there's about 50 of them now all throughout the valley you know so yeah there's i mean i i, I think that maybe they are even missing some you know because i know there's tons dude got some cool stuff going on but yeah pretty tight got some grasshopper bar and shit yeah so i don't know this one i didn't get too much into i don't know the articles too well but anyways um yeah i got some redwood stacks going on going else and stuff yeah so it's pretty cool yeah we're getting in and this is all about the opioid problem um epidemic with mar marijuana yeah yeah i don't like um opioid type you know i when the doctors put me on lower tab percocet sit i don't i never really liked that man it just i didn't like the feeling of it i don't like that nauseous feeling you know what i mean anyways we got here's our um featured magazine and uh this is our like regular vegas city weekly magazine and uh th this is like our main topic here and it has been is the october thing like i know you guys all have heard about it with the Poe paddock thing shooting 58 people down here i mean i did i know that it went worldwide and i was there on the strip i was at caesar's palace that's still two miles away from the thing but i have a i mean i have a cousin that was killed in it like cousin in law um yeah she was gunned down man she's not no longer with us and uh it's very tragic and to me it hits too close to home i mean all of it like it all hits too close to home for me because i uh i was at um caesar's palace had two cops with m16s run up to me and uh they had uh put the gun right in my face and said what's asked me what's in my bag i dropped my bag and said go ahead and look and then they told me well run inside the casino man there's people out here killing people i was like okay dude okay no problem you know he looked at i mean it wasn't like the gun was in my face but it was like he kind of pointed at me and said what's in the bag he kind of pointed at the bag like what's in your bag sir and then i was like here dude and then once i dropped it on the ground like he like pointed the gun towards the ground anyways um so yeah man um I, I i was worried because i went out the back streets of the strip and uh they shut off the, all the power to the strip people were in panic um, i was concerned that someone a panic driver was going to drive up on the sidewalk and out of just desperation getting out of the area and i was worried that i was going to get fucking ran over man and that's my main concern that was my main worry about the whole deal because i didn't hear no gunshots i'm from la so um anyways it's a nice spring day and i'm doing my episode in here in the car because i try to do it out there and it looks beautiful but it's a little too windy and stuff but anyways um yeah i wanted to show you something we got some good thing we got Kiefer sutherland i guess he's just playing country music these days i know that he's a mu or movie star so but he's coming april 28th if you like any of the music keep that in mind if you um yes my my main thing is to help you guys out you know what i mean help you guys out with what's coming if you guys are coming to vegas cool you'll know what's going to go on while you're in town um we got big boot voodoo daddies big bad voodoo daddies coming up um 
I don't know. Don't know too much about there. I've always heard the name. I guess that's within my generation. So, that's yeah, coming May 12th. Um, um, you know, got all kinds of things going on. I don't know. A lot of these, there's a lot of stuff I just don't know about. So, let you guys look that over. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't want to get too much into the articles. I just kind of want to get you over and maybe kind of go over some of this stuff, like, Vegas Strong. That now this is a little remembrance fucking um, station that we put up in respects to those lo lo lost their lives. Like, um, then you got your protests going on with it. People out here that are standing up to gun violence and stuff. I um, though I I stand strong about um, speaking out about the truth. I just I don't believe that guns need to be taken from the people. Because I know in Europe, they don't have no guns and they get attacked all the time. Hello, how's it going? So, yeah. So, it's just like that. With that being said, um, I don't think that the gun, taking guns from the people is a problem. I think there's a di di bigger, deeper problem that we don't see as everyday civilians. I think that there's something deep within the government that we're being hidden from. Deep, deep on a higher scale, you know what I mean? Um, my cousin, there's my cousin-in-law, she's got her picture in there, like, that's Candace, man. That's my cousin-in-law, okay? Um, she's my aunt's, she's my, um, uncle, my blood uncle's girlfriend. Her cousin is Candace, is the girl. To me, that's too close to home. I've never met her, but the fact that I was there at Caesars Palace, two miles away, down the strip... And that I was part of that pandemonium, and that someone I was acquainted to, like by the third degree, to me it's just all hits too close to home, man. And um, and something needs to change. We need to. Uh, I mean, these um, these massacres need to stop happening. But it's unfortunate, man. It's just unfortunate. If any guys, if you guys want to talk about anything, man, um, feel free to comment in the comment bars, man. Anyways, uh, we got Chris Brown coming up. We got Jennifer Lopez. We got ZZ Top. Go ahead and look at show dates. I don't want to go over the dates with you guys, but you guys can see for your fact for yourselves, you know. And then got some other upcoming events: Def Leppard and Journey, Smashing Pumpkins, Fall Out Boy, Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, we got a lot of shit coming up, huh? Justin Timberlake. Uh, yeah, I mean, Vegas is the place, man. It's like all music, bro. It's all entertainment. Like, but this is entertainment capital of the world right here. You, you guys know that. It's like all kinds of DJ shows and stuff. I don't know, some martial art events. Um, station casinos have great dining. We got George Clinton coming. Um, I kind of always wanted to see him. I like the funky shit. We got to have that funk, you know what I mean? We got Tech 9 coming on the 5th, May 5th. You know what I mean? Um, Beatles versus Stones, that's got to be uh, an event. That would be kind of cool. I would love to see that. That would be cool. A little mixture of both those thing, guys' things and shit, you know what I mean? I like the Beatles. I like the Stones. Like, I'm very diverse when it comes to music, so... I'll go to a hip-hop concert. I'll go to a fucking oldies concert. I'll go to a punk rock show. I'll go to a symphony if it all comes down to it. Anyways, we got Ray Sermon and uh, and Trey Songs. That'd be cool. Black Beatles, man. That was a good song with Gucci, you know. So, yeah. I'm trying to hold my camera still, you guys. But, um, I want to fuck up the program. Anyways, Ben and Teller. They're really hands deep in Vegas here. So yeah, we got some cool stuff coming up, man. We got always got good dining. Uh, the underground. I know Nine Inch Nails is coming. Let me show you guys that before we uh, start losing too much time here. We got Nine Inch Nails coming up 613 of 18. 615. That's in um, June 18th and 15th. Um, um, June 13th and 15th, excuse me, um, Nine Inch Nails. And we got Incubus right below them. 
All right, guys, I gotta cut it.